On this episode of Picker Road, we're in Las Vegas heading towards Henderson. We're going to check out a Goodwill that we've never been to before and see if we can find some treasures. After that, we're going to have a really delicious treat. And as always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. So we're starting today in Sunset Park. This is one of my favorite outdoor spots in all of Las Vegas. It is so much fun to just come here and walk around and take in the scenery. And right behind me is a really interesting piece of Las Vegas history. That's Aku Aku, the Maori statue that used to reside outside the Polynesian restaurant at the Stardust Hotel and Casino. When the hotel was demolished, they brought it here, and now he lives on an island surrounded by ducks and geese. All right, let's head over to the Goodwill and check this out. We've never been there before, so let's see what we can find. Well, we're in Henderson at a Goodwill that we've never been to before. Let's go in and check it out. Well, this Goodwill has really loud music, so we're going to have to narrate everything we find. Well, let's get started here in the hard goods and look at some of these dishes. There's an interesting little cup and saucer back there, but they don't go together. This is pretty. Little purple vase, but nothing special. I'm gonna not take that. What is this? Oh, for all that I am and ever hope to be, I owe to my mother. That's true, I do. Oh, that's really nice. And Mother's Day is right around the corner. Let's put that in the cart. Well, it looks like we've got an awful lot of candles here, except for this African doll. Hmm, some candle warmers. Don't, don't need those. And this is really nice. It's a little floating candle. Looks lovely in pottery with water. But I think we'll pass on that right now. Like everybody, we're always looking for glassy babies here in the candle section. This is a nice little uh, set of chips. Very appropriate for Vegas for a candle. And these guys are porcelain, it looks like, or ceramic. Very heavy, but they're made in Taiwan, so uh, I don't think I'm interested in that quality. But we're going to keep on looking. Wow, this owl is very interesting. He's quite old. William? He's a hoot. <laughs> I can't really tell what he's made of. He looks like he's heavy, but he's really not. Not interested in that uh, price point. It says made in Mexico. It's not chalkware, so I think I'll, I'll leave him. Okay, some nice fake fruit here. Looks very real, but I don't need that. I have a lot of that right now in stock. These little busts are, are nice, but not great quality, so don't want those right now. Lots of figurines. Nothing to speak of. Mm. Shoes in there. Those are kind of cute, but again, they're not great quality. Little salt and pepper shakers, a flamingo, and a puffin. Not right for the boutique, though. I'm going to move on. And this glass, pretty green glass, I think it has some age on it, but it's got a seam in it. And I know that means it's not high quality. So I'm going to leave that guy and just kind of look through the little figurines and so forth and see what we see. Now this I like. This is a little bronze. Wow, that, it's heavy too. It's got a marble base. Well, let, let's see. I'm trying to see the name on it. Upper Deck Limited. And it, uh, it appears to say Remington on there. Nice little repro. Nice for someone's desk. Little cowboy figure. Yeah, I think we're going to take that. Let's put that in the cart. That's interesting because Upper Deck is a trading card company. I wonder if it was made for one of the executives. Well, I think it's a, a nice piece in good condition. Well, he's got a whip there. It looks like the whip might be broken, but I don't think it really hurts it. Maybe that can be attached. 
it's a nice enough quality that I'm willing to forgive that. In the cart. Let's see what else we have. Little guy, little um, marble bear it looks like. And pretty little dish, but it's kind of lightweight and nothing to speak of. Keep moving on. Move down each shelf. Want to check everything. I can sometimes find treasures way in the back there if I look really carefully. I've come up with some good things back there. Nothing there. Let's move into the glasses. Another little paperweight, but it's a souvenir type piece, so I'm not interested in that. Clear glass just doesn't seem to sell very well, as I'm sure everybody hears. This is a fun cat, fun little vase. I know my friend Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas has several of these, or she did in her in her booth. Now I like this piece. I love these bluebirds. I love the way they're painted on there. It is a hallmark piece. It looks to be vintage. It looks like it has a little bit of age, but it's just so pretty. With spring coming, someone can put a nice plant in there. It would just look lovely. Let's see what this is. Mm, no, nothing. Let's see what else we got. A little bit of brass there. Nothing. Let's see. Wow, that's very green. <laughs> okay, looking at the clear glass, see if we can find a piece of Waterford or some other piece of very nice crystal. Not seeing anything today. Let's turn around. Let's go around the corner here. Nice little hanging, but not really anything I'm interested in. And here now, this section is kind of what looks like the catch-all. Don't count it out, though. Sometimes you can find some really good pieces here, like this. Oh, nice. I love Harrods. And look, it's completely new, brand new, never written in. It's got a nice feel to it. It feels like a leather almost. And it's only 99 cents. In the cart. Cute little bunny. And look at this. Oh, this almost looks like Lennox. Formalities. Nope. It's Christmas anyway, a little far off. We're into Easter right now. Speaking of which, look at these chicks. They look like they're kind of hand-painted. Maybe a hobbyist piece. Oh, a little Christmas kitten playing with a ball. Now, these little figurines are interesting. What are they? Needed Friends, 2003. I don't think I've seen those before. They almost look like those dough dolls or clay. But they're very light, and being 2003, they're vintage, by Etsy standards, anyway. They're 20 years old. I like them, a little dusty. They're cute, but not quite my vibe on, on what I want for the boutique. I'm going to leave those guys. Oh, look at that down there. That pumpkin, he is so funny. He's just a contemporary piece. I really like his face, though. Hi, everybody. I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you, Will. I'll leave him. Look at this sign. I like this a lot. I really like the color and the design. It, of course, it's a repro, probably of a much older sign. But because of the color, I think I'll get it just for a little splash of color in the boutique. Let's put that in the cart. What is this? It's mudroom. It's hard to read. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's dig around and see what we can find here. This is a nice little box. Mmm, s'more station. Yes, please. Let's dig under here. I see a tray back there. Let's pull this out. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. Let's see. It's kind of nice. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. It's George Riard. There's the original sticker. Very, very nice. Little bit of damage but nothing I can't live with. For $2.99, yes please, in the cart. Let's see, still going down the wood aisle. Nice little plaque. St. Patrick's Day is coming. It would be an interesting little addition. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. An old Irish verse. My Irish grandmother would 
be very proud of that. I'm going to leave it, though, for someone else. I'm just not into plaques these days. Okay, some coasters like that. Ah, from Fiji. So they're a tourist piece. And $7.99? I don't think so. Let's see what else we got. Ah, cute little can. Well, a bit of this. I thought it would say a bit of that. Digging through these metal signs. Oh, these are nice, some metal flowers, but they're very lightweight. Not very expensive. Kitchen and red, what does it say? Love. Okay, nice. I think some of these were just stocked, and I see something back there I like. It almost looks like silver. Let's see. Nope. It's from Ross. But it's attractive. And this, could it be Nambi? Hmm. Nope. It's not either. Old Town Imports. No, a little scratched up, and certainly not for $7.99. Put that back. And this is a little souvenir piece. Little dish from the great state of Nebraska. A little too specific. Keep going here. All sorts of little metal pieces. And here's a little metal reindeer candle holder. And a broken candle holder. And more metal. Little hanging metal basket. Little metal dishes made in Mexico. Nope, I don't think that's anything special. Keep looking, see what we find. And the bathroom section, you know, you could find little things in there. Again, a glassy baby even. Just all sorts of products that I just don't pick up. Nothing here for me. Well, it looks like we have some chopping mats. Okay, and what's this? It's a Mustache mold. Wow. For mustache enthusiasts. Hey, might be good for Father's Day. I think I'll leave that for someone who's going to bake. Looks like a Mario Brothers thermos of some kind. It's kind of sticky and ewy. Don't want to really explore that any further. Just some cups and plastics all the way down to the end, it looks like. Looks like we have some vintage Tupperware. I already have some really nice pieces in the Picker Road Boutique, so I don't need any more right now. We're going to leave those. Keep going through the little crystal pieces and glassware. See what we can find. That's, wow, that's an unusual shape. It's very heavy, too. Don't think so. Looks like maybe Mikasa. Let's look down here. You want to get down low always and see, again, if anything's down there. Look on the top and all around. Just seeing what, what they have. Nope, nothing in there. Some canisters and a little crock. And oh, look at this picture. It looks to be old because there's a lot of crazing on it. But it just doesn't jump out at me, so I think I'll leave that. I see another picture back there. That looks newer, of course. And then this third picture... Let's see, it, it is signed. I can't make out the signature, but it just isn't well done, in my opinion, so I think I'll leave it. And these pieces, of course, are contemporary. Cute little dish back here. Look at that little squirrel on an acorn dish. Obviously a nut dish. It's by Russ. So, contemporary piece, but he's fun. But he's not $7.99 fun, just not high enough quality. I'm going to leave him. Well, it looks like a little florist piece. Nothing there. Hmm, just looking around. This, okay, I have no idea. I want to get down low again and see this little doggy canister. Oh, he's so light. When I move him, I can just feel how light he is. I've been picking a long time, and... I like to think I know a lot about pieces, but hey, you guys, as you're watching, if you see something that I've passed over, leave me a comment and let me know so I can learn for the future. Looks like a little coffee container. No, I don't think so on that guy. Got to look at everything. Look through all the little 
pieces of miscellaneous glassware and a little Starbucks box. Look at this. Oh, it's a little tiny cup. It's too big for a Barbie cup, but it's tiny. I need much larger cups for coffee, but it is sweet. Get that back in there and leave it for someone else. Looks like it's brand new. $5.99. Moving up here, we have some little salt and peppers made in Japan. They're older, and there's some old ones back there, too. A little rough and some plastic champagne bottles. And those guys look like little pomodors. Nothing to speak of. And no, nah, Niagara Falls, Canada. I love Niagara Falls. And little souvenir salt and pepper. So somebody had a whole collection of souvenir salt and peppers. Looks like a little cake stand. 12 days of Christmas. Very heavy. Too heavy to ship, really. Looking up here, these little casseroles are very unusual. The material is very funny, lighter than it looks. And it looks like it has some oriental lettering on it. So I would imagine they are made overseas. Moving up here, just looking again. Coming over here, a little flask. Pretty silver plate, but it's extremely light. Nothing to speak of. And down here, again, just trays. Let's go around the corner and check out the mugs. Looking at the mugs, I'm always looking for a company called M.A. Hadley. They do some really nice mugs. They went out of business, and uh, then they were purchased, and I think they're back in business. So on the lookout for those. Nice Disney mug, but I don't think anything too special and kind of worn. Just looking through the mugs for anything that catches my attention. Might be a good pickup. I'm also always looking for artisan mugs, hand-thrown mugs. They do really well at the Picker Road Boutique. Just keep on looking. I'm not seeing anything, really. Looking for mugs that might be nice even for Mother's Day. This is a sweet little mug with an owl. He's a hoot. Thank you, William. It is a sweet mug, though. I do like that. Nice little selection here, but just nothing that I want to pick up right now. Pretty butterfly. Lots and lots of glassware to always look through. This is a nice piece of pottery, but very heavy. Ski Patrol. I don't think so. Just, you have to really comb through the glass to find the treasure, if it's there. Mm, George Killian, Irish Red. Might be a good piece for St. Patrick's Day. Ooh, look at these champagne glasses with that silver rim. I really think they're Dorothy Thorpe. They're lovely, they're delicate. I'm just not selling many glasses these days, so I think I'll leave those. That's a pretty little painted dish. Lovely flowers, who makes that? It's Noritake. Nice weight, nice quality. I'm just not picking up any dishes right now. I'm looking, moving down. That's a nice fish dish. I like that design. Who makes you? Let's see. You are, well, you're made in China. I don't think that's something I want right now. Looking at this dish, it looks like to be hand-painted, handmade. Looking through the dishes, I'm not really buying too many dishes right now. They're just so hard to ship and so very heavy. And collector plates, they're just not selling these days, which is a shame because some of them are really lovely. Oh, look at that koala. He's precious with his little face. Wow, for someone who collects koalas, they would be very happy to find him. Just not right now for me. Moving on, I love the colors on this dish. Harold Collection. I would think about if it wasn't chipped. Keep going here, looking at everything I can see. Oh, those are very pretty gold rimmed. Again, super heavy to ship, but I'm looking. Let's turn the corner. Now we're in the bakeware section. 
looking for anything of outstanding interest. This looks like Pyrex, not sure. Yes, it is just horribly scratched. Cute little Mickey Mouse, looks like a pancake pan. Looking through the pans, I'm always looking for Le Creuset or any high-end potter pan, but I'm not seeing anything here today. I think we're just gonna go ahead and head over to the art section. Okay, take a look through the art. Aw, Basset Hound, that face, so cute. Just looking through and seeing what I see. Oh, wow, look, another Niagara Falls piece. Beautiful, Niagara Falls, New York. Made of the mist. Just looking through the frame, seeing what we see. Oh, look, New York, New York City. Those are fun, nice. Everything I'm seeing, though, looks pretty contemporary. I'm always looking for older frames that would have older pieces in them and maybe even old photographs. But these really appear to be all new and contemporary. Oh, this appears to be a map of Pennsylvania Lake, but it's a, it's a souvenir piece that someone framed up. So I don't think that's going to be for me today. Keep on going here. I'll keep on looking here. See that? Oh, look at these peacocks framed in gold. They're contemporary. And this is, oh, a nice piece of glass. Look at that. Very pretty. But unfortunately, it has a big break in it. A chip in the corner. It's signed. I would have picked that up if it hadn't been broken. But when you hold it up to the light, it's got to be perfect. Keep going here. Aha, the amazing Spider-Man. Little frames, fancy little frames. Never a shortage of those at Goodwill. Just keep going here. I'm just not seeing anything today in the frames. What's this up here? Oh, it's a little album. That's an old looking album. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's, that's old. That's that says, it says, Crown Craft. I bet that is got quite a bit of age on it. And sure, these are how you used to put your photos with the corners going into these little pieces. Gee, too bad it's not filled with old photos. That would be a definite pickup. But now, just put it back. Well, okay, I think we're going to do just one more check of the shelves. There was a worker putting out some new merchandise, so there might be some little treasure I overlooked. Okay, we're back here in the hard goods. I'm going to take another quick look and see if I see anything that has been new. I see that little marble vase there. That's new, I believe, but it's, it's broken, so I'm not going to go with that. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It's a little cat bell. Ah, he's very sweet. I like him. What is he? He's a Silvestri. He's fun, but he's chipped. That's a real shame. I would have taken him if he wasn't chipped. It's mug here. I think I've seen him before. Nothing of high enough quality for the Picker Road Boutique. It's looking. I think that's new. Yankee Candle Shade. Missing part of it. Just keep on looking. Seeing down here. Nope, I don't see anything new in here. Seems to be the same, what I've already looked through. But I just want to check, just want to make sure I see everything. Down here, cornucopia. Uh, no, let's leave that. Okay, I think those dolphins are new, but not interested in those guys. Keep on looking. There's the fruit, candles. That's very pretty, but kind of inexpensive. Keep on looking. Where's that treasure? Let me find you. That plate is pretty, but very heavy. Very heavy. This is pretty. I love the bird. The like little candle would be really, really pretty. October Hill would be pretty with a light in it. 
I don't know. I'm thinking about this one. Oh, no. It's got a, a big, massive chip. I would have taken if it didn't. Puppy plate. Very cute. Collector plates. Bar Harbor, Maine. And that's it. Okay, so I always like to go through the media section and check out all the DVDs. Now, I know a lot of people say that DVDs are passe, even vintage, since they're over 20 years old, but there are still some DVD treasures out there. Like, for instance, I used to collect the Criterion Collection, which would put out super high-end art house film DVDs, usually in very limited edition. Now, I just saw one on the shelf here, and I want to teach you something about Criterion. So down here is the Royal Tenenbaums. This is a great Wes Anderson film with a great cast. It's a lot of fun. But this is one of their mass media ones. They produced millions of copies of this, and they actually put it out at a lower price point than some of the rarer ones. So at $2.99, that's actually what it's worth. Some criterions can be worth over $100, but not this one. Now this is interesting. We found this over in the record section. This is a famous organist from New York City from the 1970s, Virgil Fox. Now it appears to be autographed on the cover by him. I looked on eBay and I saw some comps. So for 99 cents, I think we're going to go ahead and get it. All right, I think we have found our treasures at this Goodwill. Let's put them in the cart and let's get checked out. I'd say after a hard day of picking, we all deserve a treat. If you live in Vegas or you've traveled here, you've probably heard of Pink Box Donuts. They are the best. They are so cool looking. They taste so good. This is one of their new locations. We're going to go in and pick some donuts out. Let's go in and check it out. Oh, look at this door. That is so fun. All right. Let's pick some donuts out. Right. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Look at these choices. Oh my goodness. I am so hungry already. Oh yeah. All right, yum. We found our selections. Hey, look, there's Pinky, the famous pink box donut. Okay, well, we head back to Sunset Park. Let's recap the treasures we found at Goodwill. Time to get our reward for a good day's pick. Oh. And now here we are back at Sunset Park. You know, at the time of filming this, we're nearing a thousand subscribers on YouTube. We never thought we would get that far that fast. So we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. We hope you've enjoyed the adventure. Join the journey.